the Bowers & Wilkins PI7 are one of the most expensive earbuds out in the market right now and in this video I'll tell you exactly what you get for that much money. First off, let's discuss the price. At the time of making this video, the PI7 in Australia costs around about $600. First out of the box comes the Bowers & Wilkins PI7 earbuds in its case, then you get some useful documents to get started, after that you get two extra pair of ear tips in small and large sizes, then you get a 78cm long USB-C to USB-C charging cable wrapped neatly with a cable tie, and finally a 80cm long USB-C to 3.5mm cable. The case of the PI7 has a matte finish which is nice to touch and has a very good grip. Also the magnets inside the case holding the earbuds down is very strong, just like the magnets on the latch itself. So you will not have to worry about accidentally dropping them and losing the earbuds when traveling. The size of the case is however not the smallest compared to a lot of its competitors, but it is quite light and still very much pocketable unlike the Bose QuietComforts. In my eyes, the design of the earbuds look very good. I think they look and feel very premium just because of the metal circular accents in brushed gold. There is also some subtle branding on the side which takes away the whole minimalistic look out of it but overall maintains a slick look. There are also some mesh around the side which has the same metallic finish and other than that, the whole earbud is made out of plastic. The design choice that the Bowers & Wilkins made for the PI7 may have given the earbuds a more modern look, however it achieved that by compromising a bit on the comfort department. Just like the Sennheiser Momentum 2, the nozzle of the earbuds sit on the bulky end of the earbud which will put pressure on the inside of the ears over time. They are lightweight, don't get me wrong, but let me show you something. So this area of the earbud that you see, this area, it will sit right here on your ears. So when it sits right here on your ears, I felt like that it was putting some extra pressure on my ears. Now it may change from person to person, but I have pretty big ears myself. So I can only imagine how worse it can be for people who have small ears. But that being said, I took the PI7 out for a run today and they sat perfectly on my ears. They always felt secure as I got a very tight seal and it did not move an inch, so that was great. On the battery front, the PI7 earbuds lasted less than 3 hours on my test and during that time, all I did was listen to music with volume at 80% with ANC on, which is honestly very disappointing from an earbud that is this expensive. They do however have wireless fast charging on the case which is a nice touch as it allows the case to be recharged fully in under the 1 hour mark. Also the case can recharge the earbuds 4 times which takes the overall battery life to a bit over the 12 hours mark. Just like many other headphones out in the market right now, the PI7 only allows touch controls which by the way are very easy to use. You do not get to control volume but you can skip track forward or backward or play or pause music or toggle between A and C modes. You also do not get any voice prompts by the way but there are sound prompts to let you know that it has registered an input from the user. The Bowers & Wilkins PI7 connects via the older Bluetooth 5.0 technology and supports all the popular codecs except for LDAC. They have Qualcomm chips inside, so there is no surprise that it supports aptX adaptive codec. This means if you have an Android device that's not older than 2017, then the chances are that you can enjoy some high quality and low latency audio with the PI7 on your device. But the most interesting thing is that you can turn the case into a wireless transmitter. Well, all you have to do is just to connect the 3.5mm to USB-C cable between your device and the case and then this case just turns into a wireless transmitter. So it doesn't matter if your device have Bluetooth or not, you can get wireless audio from any device. Though the mic does not work in this mode, but hey, still it is a very cool feature and something that I feel like has a lot of potential and real life usage as well. The PI7 has adaptive noise cancelling which is not my favorite as the earbuds decide for you what the best possible noise cancelling setting is depending on what your environment is. 
while it is very convenient i feel like that the technology is not perfected yet on the pi7 which might lead to some unsatisfactory performances at times for me when i was indoors it felt like only the passive noise cancellation was working i could not tell any difference between the anc on mode versus the anc off mode and it was frustrating at times also just because i was not able to change the noise cancelling level even when i felt like i needed that extra power having said that when i took the pi7 outside i felt like they were able to block a decent amount of bass range noise like bus engines but mid and treble range frequencies still came through they can also drown out some loud ac hum and a little bit of loud office chatter and they also have an ambient noise pass through mode which you can control through the app i played around with the settings a little bit and i can confidently say that if you have the settings up on high then you will be very aware of your surroundings now here's the thing if you're a fan of edm or hip-hop then the pi7 will be a very very good buy they have a very bass heavy profile and they can get pretty loud i tested them by playing music on spotify on my iphone and i could very clearly notice it's fairly accurate and thumpy bass notes on the other hand the mid-range sounded a little bit flat i mean i can tell the vocal or lead instruments are present and are detailed but they kind of get overshadowed by that extra bass and on the treble side of things it is not as flat as the mid-range frequencies but it just lacks a little bit of accuracy the higher end treble sounds pretty loud and tight but the lower end one kind of just fades away so if you are someone who listens to a lot of classical or metal genres and often like that distinct separation between layers in audio, then you may find this sound signature a bit cluttered and muddy for your taste. I feel like that this could all have been solved if only Bowers & Wilkins gave a graphic equalizer on the app for us to control. Testing the microphone of the Bowers & Wilkins PI7 earbuds. Mic check, mic check, one, two, three, one, two, three. Mic check, mic check, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. So as you just heard, I think that the PI7s are okay at separating ambient noises from the voice, but the voice does come out sounding a little bit thin and lacking some depth. But overall, I think it is not too bad for taking calls on a busy place. So I was not able to find any official IPX ratings on the PI7, so not sure how safe they are going to be in wet conditions, but one cool feature is that it has the ability to reduce audio leakage in a way that I have not seen before. If you're listening to audio at high volumes in a modestly noisy environment like in an office or inside a train, then people around you shouldn't be able to hear anything at all. So if you're a private person, then these are the right earbuds for you. So overall, I think the Bowers & Wilkins got almost everything right about the PI7 except for the comfort department and that sad, sad battery life. Other than that, I love the fact that you can use the case as a transmitter and can connect to whatever device you want to. The design looks very fresh and neat and the call quality and the sound leakage performances are not bad either. So do I think that these are the perfect or the best earbuds at this price point? Well, for you, that could depend on what you need and will vary from person to person. But for me, it does feel a little bit overpriced for what they really are. So yeah, I'm really not convinced as of yet. But that's just me. Please let me know what your thoughts are on the comment section down below. And if you enjoyed watching this video, then please like, share and subscribe. This is Nafi signing off till next week. Peace.